everyone it's january 17th and it's wednesday i'm on my way to work here's what i'm taking with me my regular k-cup coffee for zero smart points with one tablespoon of dairy star fat free half and half for zero smart points my tea this morning is i actually used up the rest of the teamy skinny it was like literally tea dust so there wasn't much in there so um yeah little bit of that and now I'm moving on to my teeny energy I don't like the flavor of this one as much as the teeny skinny but I always add a lot of lemon anyway so um yeah it's still pretty good uh I just like the really really mildness of the teeny skinny so if you're looking for a teeny tea with a little more flavor this one um you would probably like better I want to say it's a little spicier but it's not really spice because the teamy, um, I think it's the teamy alive, is the one that actually tastes a little maybe spicy. But I don't know. This one just it has more flavor, but it's not like gross green tea flavor like the colon tea, <laughs> if that makes sense. So anyway, I have a teaspoon of the teamy energy for zero smart points, and I have some lemon juice in there as well. So coffee and tea are both zero smart points. And for lunch, this is probably of all the lunches that I'm making of food that I already have in the house, this is probably the one this week that I will regret, but I hope not. <laughs> so this is some leftover bean soup that I had in the freezer. It is zero smart points. It has chicken breast, black beans, corn, chicken broth, and fire roasted diced tomatoes. It has some garlic and it has a ton of pepper because I actually... I accidentally used like the wrong side of the pepper container when I was making it so this is very peppery but I mean it tastes pretty good it's just my stomach uh, so I'm actually going to try and counteract that I have actually both gas X and Beano that I'm going to take at the same time as the soup so I mean they usually don't really do anything so maybe I'll double up on the dosage of these when I have the soup. <laughs> I'm not sure, but anyway, so this is what's for lunch and that is zero smart points. It's probably gonna be really filling because that's about two cups in there. So then my snack is a little more complicated today. Today I'm going to try an idea that um, I got from Jess from Weight Watchers Journey to Healthy and I don't know what is up with her but I literally want to eat every single thing she's making lately so if you guys have not already subscribed to Jess's channel it is Weight Watchers Journey to Healthy and you should definitely go over there so today I'm having peanut butter banana yogurt for a snack oh my gosh so it does have one smart point so here's what I have so far this is the yogurt I have one it's about one cup of the Greek Gods Greek yogurt, non-fat Greek yogurt for zero smart points. And then I stir in two tablespoons of PB Fit, which is one smart point. So that's what's actually in the container. I put it in a nice big container because I need to buy a banana today. I'm going to add a banana to that. And then I'm going to sprinkle on top some cinnamon. And in this container here is just a little bit of the Mrs. Butterworth sugar-free syrup. So that is going to go drizzled all over the top. I am so excited, that's gonna be so good. And you guys, this is just another <laughs> reminder and another example of why I don't have this kind of concoction very often because I like these things way too much and I, you know, if I let myself have one every day, I'd probably have like two or three a day. Um, I love peanut butter banana and um, I'm really enjoying the yogurt concoctions, but um, I know what made me overweight in the first place and I know what my signals are and what my dangers are and it's literally overeating anything. It's not just overeating high fat, high points food. So I can overeat yogurt with the best of them. So um, I'm not making this very often, but I am super excited to try it today. I think it's going to be really yummy and so that is one smart point once I get the banana and I put it all together I'll take a picture for you guys but you probably won't be able to see much in the jar but I'll show you what it looks like so that is my first snack of the day which I usually have right before I leave work and then my second snack is just an apple for zero smart points and I usually have this um, 
like on the way home because I'm usually working out or I have a meeting or something um, between the time I leave work and the time I get home to make dinner. So I need just a little something in my stomach before I start making dinner so that I don't eat a ton of food while I am making dinner. And in case you guys are wondering why I always have these apples on hand, it's because when we feed the homeless, um, we get these bags of apples from the dollar store um, for pretty inexpensive. It's a big bag for $2. So um, I always end up buying too many, which is good because I don't want to run out of um, food for the homeless. But so we always have these apples hanging around. So that is my snack. So everything I am taking so far, this looks like a mess, but um, <laughs> it's just three things, I promise. So everything I am taking for lunch and snack today is going to be just one smart point, And that is for the PB Fit in the yogurt. Hey everyone, just popping on real quick to show you my outfit of the day. Venus! Venus shirt, Venus sweater, Walmart pants. These Walmart, I think they're like twill or something. Um, I was very happy to note that I am a Walmart size 6. Ooh. Um, and then this beautiful scarf I got from my dear friend Kat from Cat on Point. Um, anyway, I just wanted to pop on and show you guys my outfit real quick because today is gonna be a super busy day. As you can see, I'm already on the go. I have a meeting at the Disney Studio lot this morning, so that's where I'm headed now. And it's gonna be about an hour. Um, so that's gonna, of course, cut into my break time and uh, probably not going to take a lunch today either because I need to just stay in and get some things done. I am just tremendously busy this week, like super, super busy. I am trying to get to your guys' comments from the weekend. So as always, um, I'm always behind after a weekend. Anyway, um, if I haven't got to your comment and you asked me a specific question that you need an answer to, ask me again, I will answer, sorry. Um, it does sometimes take tremendous time to respond to comments. So, but I try to do that for you guys because I know um, you have burning questions. But anyway, I do appreciate the interaction. So I always try to respond. Um, headed to the studio lot now. I will try to take you guys with me as I walk to the meeting. And then of course, I won't be able to take you in the meeting. This is actually a meeting for, I am a wellness champion at work. And that means that I am one of the ambassadors that is chosen to promote health and wellness within my area and my department. So um, it's kind of a meet and greet today. I've been doing this for about a year. And today I actually get to meet some of the other participants in the wellness program. So looking forward to it. I'll see you guys in a while.
Okay, that was a really informative and productive meeting. So um, I think I told you guys I am a wellness champion. So my job is to, it's totally a volunteer position, but my job is to try and bring health and wellness into my immediate workplace area. So February is actually apparently, I believe, uh, National Heart Month or Heart Healthy Month or <laughs> I don't know something like that so they um, are trying to organize a huge walking challenge or walking challenges within our department so I have a big um, project ahead of me <laughs> but it sounds like it'll be a lot of fun because I want to actually offer prizes and I think that my department my group would actually um, be very motivated by prizes. So most people I know are very motivated by prizes. So I just need to touch base with my manager and organize, get the word out, find a way to track and gather up some prizes. Let's do this. So I was thinking since February is National Heart Healthy Month and we have not done a challenge on this channel since October. Well, actually we did do the running streak um, over the holidays so um, I feel like it might be time for another challenge I would probably say it's going to have to be a walking challenge because I'd like to a walking or a step challenge because I want to include as many people as possible and I know that all of you are in so many different um, areas and levels of fitness so uh, I would love to include as many people as possible I just need to find out what is going to be the best tracking method because tracking everything individually on my own in October was pretty much a nightmare <laughs> and it took way too much time um, that I would not be able to give at this point so I just need to find out how best to track um, a potential 5,000 people I'm sure not all of you are going to be on board but um, yeah, let me find out some more information and I will post more details as I gather them. But all of you guys who are looking for another challenge to participate in, stay tuned, stay tuned. I'm also very proud of myself because um, there were light refreshments there and uh, speed bumps. They were very healthy refreshments. There was like a nice looking kale salad with nuts and dressing. There was low fat yogurt and granola and some crackers. I didn't have any of it. It looked delicious, but number one, I have already pre-planned all of my meals specifically all of my meals for today so there's no reason to go off track number two I wasn't really hungry at first when I got into the meeting and number three I still do intermittent fasting and my scheduled meal time is going to be three o'clock so I was very proud of myself all I had was the awesome Trader Joe's seltzer water it was a pineapple seltzer water the funny thing is when I first um, was introduced to La Croix or La Croix, however you say that. Their seltzer water, I was like, I don't like this. There is barely any flavor. I don't like it. And now, for some weird reason, I kind of like seltzer water. There's like just enough flavor to make it better than water. Um, but I'm finding that I'm not liking a lot of sweet stuff right now for the most part. <laughs> Just not a huge sweets person. So even um, my beverages, I'm finding that I prefer not to have like a super sweet beverage. So um, these seltzer waters are pretty good, but I still have to say probably my favorite is lime seltzer water. And that's because it reminds me of a delicious mojito. Love my mojitos. So anyway, um, I totally have all my meals pre-planned for today and now I'm finding the challenge of being flexible because um, we are going I can't be at home for dinner tonight we have something to do so um, I'll fill you in more on that later uh, so yeah I don't know what I'm gonna have for dinner but it's gonna have to be on the run and it needs to be super low points so I'm thinking subway um, but I need to get back to work and do some research also I wanted to mention two other things um, <clears throat> Number one, I listened to a great 
video this morning by Brianna of Diva and the Divine, and she talked about the difference between motivation and discipline. You know I've touched on that before, and you know where I stand. So this was a very um, excellent video. I suggest you guys go and listen to it. It was from Brianna of Diva and the Divine. Um, yeah, motivation, not always gonna be there. Discipline, once you fine tune it, it's always there. You can always call on it. It's my, um, you know, all the times that I need to run and I don't want to, which is pretty much all the time. One of my mottos and one of the things I tell myself is don't think, just do. You know what you need to do. Stop thinking, don't overthink it. Don't let yourself stray and justify and give yourself reasons for not doing what you know you need to do. Don't think just do put your horse blinders on go forward move forward with the plan don't think just do that is one of my mottos that I tell myself all the time so um, anyway Brianna diva and the divine she also gives you five very practical tips um, for staying on track or staying motivated or fine-tuning your discipline I am a very practical person and as much as we talk about um, uh, behavior changes and reformatting um, your thoughts. Um, I'm also a very practical person and I need concrete steps to make that happen. So Brianna lays out some concrete steps to make it happen for you. So totally go watch her video. And then the other thing I just wanted to say was um, I, I got a few comments um, from a video yesterday where I was just reflecting on the fact that I have two blue dots. Now I have three blue dots in January. Um, and just how I was just insane on points last week. Um, a lot of people were thinking that I was down and feeling down and bummed out. Not at all, not at all. Just an absolute reflection of what I'm doing and why, I'm not sure why. I'm just not paying attention or not caring enough at the moment. And for me, that is just a complete part of my process. I go through phases where my weekends are always typically higher than my weekdays and higher than they should be, but I go through phases where it's more than the weekends and things are just astronomically high as far as points. That's just me and that's my journey. And um, sometimes I choose that, maybe I'm on vacation, and other times it just happens, it just is, like last week. So I'm in no way down at all. I'm not depressed, I'm not bummed out. I'm just reflecting and thinking about my journey over the last week and what did I do? Why did I do it? Do I wanna change some things and how can I make it better? So thanks for caring, you guys, though. <laughs> you guys are awesome. And you know what? If you watch my channel, you do know that I am prone to depression at times. So I just thank you guys for having my back and watching me on that and reminding me not to be too hard or too down on myself. So I'm not right now, so thank you, though. Um, I am back at work and I need to run in and do some serious work right now. I have so much to do but um oh the other thing that brianna talked about which i totally do and love is the pomodoro method um where you do a task they do a task for 25 minutes and then a five minute break a task for 25 minutes and a five minute break i actually switch tasks every half hour so i don't really need a break because i'm already taking a mental break so because I don't need that mental break, I do a task for 30 minutes and then switch to another task for 30 minutes and back and forth until it's time for my break or until it's time for my lunch. So Brianna talked about that and I am totally on board with that method as well. So it's a great video. Anyway, I'm going to run inside and work, work, work. I will probably touch base with you guys on my way to the dollar store, which is what I'm doing at my next break because I have to buy bananas. Um, I'll see you then. Hey, it's about 4.45 and I am on my second break. Actually, I didn't take my first break because I was in that meeting earlier, but I am trying to maintain consistency with my two walk breaks. So I am on a walk break for my afternoon break and I am headed to the dollar store because try as I might, 
do not do any grocery shopping. I'm always forgetting one thing here, one thing there. So I literally need two bananas and some half and half. And now there's a train. How perfect is that? Um, I guess I got nothing but time. Okay, you guys, the peanut butter banana yogurt is a winner. Yes, it's a good one. Um, it is worth one smart point, and you guys know how stingy I am with my points, so definitely worth one smart point. Number one, I love anything peanut butter banana, so that right there was a win. And number two, I'm really enjoying this whole um, freestyle yogurt freedom, so it was very delicious. I probably won't be making it too often, um, because it's just one of those things I will go overboard on, but it was definitely a delicious treat. So I do highly recommend. So it's just barely six o'clock. I tried to leave work um, on time and uh, my schedule has totally been rearranged for tonight. My meal plan is completely different because um, I have to go pick up Eddie and then we are going to see Abby who is in the hospital. So it's a very long story and I'm sure she doesn't want her whole health history on YouTube. So um, basically it's just she has had complications from the flu which she had, she got it the day that we all got it on Christmas Eve and she's literally been sick since Christmas Eve. So um, complications and she just needs um, some scans done. So we are headed there. I literally have to go home, pick up Eddie and head down there. She's in Orange County, so it's not close and um, visiting hours end at eight. So we're trying to get there before eight o'clock. So that's my deal right now. I will keep you guys posted and please pray for Abby and I'll show you what I eat when I eat next. Okay, it's after 10 o'clock. It took forever for me to get to see Abby, but I got to go up and see Abby. Abby's doing well. Just continue your prayers and hopefully she can go home tomorrow. Um, we 
We missed Chick-fil-A. I really wanted to try Chick-fil-A's 12 chicken nuggets for one smart point, and they actually sound really delicious. But Chick-fil-A closes at 10, so Eddie's taking me to my other favorite spot, which is... Cheers. <laughs> That's right. Um, I don't know, for some weird reason, I like going to Hooters. I love their tater tots but I'm not gonna have tater tots. And last time I found what I think is a new favorite is those fish tacos, grilled fish tacos. They're super, super good. They're gonna be more than one smart point. I don't remember how many points, but I think they were really low, like maybe six points. Um, so I'm gonna have those, and I'm gonna have a little bellini, and I'm gonna have one little mojito. So um, that's what's for dinner tonight. I will show you guys what we have when we get there. and. I'll show you the points.